With every new generation of Pokemon games, the player gets a chance to learn something new about the Pokemon world. And that holds true for Generation 4, with the player got a chance to learn about the Pokemon mythology. So in honor of Generation 4, I'm gonna be talking about one of the most fascinating Pokemon that made his debut in that generation. Darkrai, the pitch black Pokemon. Darkrai is known to have the ability to enter dreams and cause nightmares. It is also believed that Darkrai has the power of illusion that can take the form of any human being, and it uses that form to manipulate and trick its victims. This unique ability that Darkrai has is a reminiscent to that of Morpheus, the god of dreams from the Greek mythology. According to the Greek myth, Morpheus was given the abilities to take any human form and appear in dreams. However, Morpheus is unknown to cause harm to humans, unlike Darkrai. In almost every canon, be it the anime or the games, Darkrai is always portrayed as an evil being that only causes pain and destruction. In the post-game story of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness and Time, you find out that Darkrai was a true villain of the game, and that it was he who was behind the collapse of the Temporal Tower, which as a result turned Dialga into Primal Dialga. Darkrai was also the reason why the main character turned into a Pokemon and lost his or her memories. Darkrai did all this so that the Mystery Dungeon world could turn into complete darkness and enter a stage of never-ending nightmares. But with every evil of darkness, there's a justice of light, and in this case the justice of light is Cresselia, the lunar Pokemon. It is Cresselia that helps the hero stop Darkrai and saves the Mystery Dungeon world once and for all. The darkrai Cresselia conflict is even depicted in the anime. When Darkrai causes destruction with its nightmare ability, Cresselia will always be there to stop Darkrai and bring peace. And this was true in the Pokemon episode titled Sleepless in Pre-Battle where Darkrai uses its nightmare ability on the people of Canalave City. But thanks to Ash and Friends, Cresselia makes it back to Canalave City and stops Darkrai and its nightmares. Now because of their unique abilities, the people of Sinnoh associate Darkrai and Cresselia with the different phases of the moon. Darkrai represents the new moon, the cause of the darkest night, while Cresselia represents the full moon, a sign of hope and good dreams. In Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, when you get to Canalave City, you come across a sailor whose son is having terrible nightmares, and the son is saying the words, Dark is watching me. And so, after realizing that Darkrai is behind all this, the hero then must go to Full Moon Island, get the lunar wing from Cresselia, and then wake the boy up from his never-ending nightmare. In the Darkrai event, you get to go to the New Moon Island, the opposite of the Full Moon Island, and face the Darkrai from the little boy's nightmare. And after catching it, you learn the truth about Darkrai from a mysterious voice. You learn that Darkrai cannot control its power, and its nightmare ability is a defense mechanism. And because it doesn't want anyone to suffer from its nightmare ability, it stays far away on New Moon Island all by itself. And if its power does reach the cities, such as Kenalave City, the Full Moon Island is close by, so the people can always stop the nightmare with the Lunar Wing. However, in Generation 5, it was too late to stop one of Darkrai's uncontrollable nightmares, and you get to see the outcome. In Pokemon Black and White 2, when you enter the strange house at the base of Reversal Mountain, you see a ghost girl who's trying to return the Lunar Wing to Cresselia, because it was too late to dispel Darkrai's nightmare. And as a result, she had died. Alright, that is all for this video, I'll be back with another video soon, so stay tuned!